situation is absolutely clear and self-explanatory. I talked to doctors DF and Grazia about psychotonic attacks in June 2006, and my presentations were suggestive. They interrupted conversations on their own initiative and didn't let me tell about all of my symptoms. Uh, I sent doctors letters, statements of disagreement, asked them to correct their diagnosis, uh, filed complaints with the Information and Privacy Commissioner of Ontario, provided them with a lot of literature about psychotronic weapons and proofs that I have been under these attacks for the last three years. Uh, I mean reports from doctors uh, Steninger, Spanier, Steiner, Joyce Myers. Myers. Uh, doctors Diev and Gretze answered to the questions on written examination for discovery that they didn't want to assume existence of these weapons. It means that doctors didn't want to start investigation of facts reported to them. They didn't want to start reading, learning and research despite the provided information, which proves existence of such weapons 100%. It proves that doctors Diev and Gretze were really negligent and made the diagnosis in bad faith with such serious carelessness and recklessness as to be inexplicable and incomprehensible. Uh, I do not just believe but have proofs that I am a victim of psychotronic or electronic or microwave or directed energy or neurological or mind control or non-lethal weapons. Dr. Steninger writes in her expert reports that I have been experiencing uh, the uh, effects of specific electromagnetic and radio frequency fields being targeted since January 2006. These frequencies um, react with specific nano and advanced microelectronics materials that are being created in universities and being utilized commercially by industry, medicine, pharmaceutical, government and military for monitoring, communications and sensory applications. She writes that I have poisonous toxic nanomaterials in my system uh, which are used as uh, RFID microchips uh, to send signals to my body. The issue before the court is about existence of psychotronic weapons. It is a standard of care of psychologists, psychotherapists and psychiatrists whether they admit existence of psychotronic weapons or not. If they do not assume existence of psychotronic weapons like doctors Sugar and Diev, it means that they do not read scientific literature in medical libraries about mind and body control and fall below standards of care. Standard of care for all doctors all over the world is to investigate reported facts and research medical literature. If doctors Diev and Sugar had investigated facts, uh, the same about Dr. Gratze, um, if they had investigated facts reported by me, toxicologist Dr. Steninger, psychologist Dr. Spanier, psychotherapist Joyce Myers, hypnotherapist June, uh, Dr. June Steiner, uh, and research forwarded literature about mind and body control in Medline Library, they would have admitted existence of psychotronic weapons, because there are thousands of books and articles about mind and body control in this library. Doctors Diev and Sugar do not assume existence of such weapons. It means that they do not research reported facts, do not want to find forwarded medical literature in Medline Library, and fall below standards of care. Uh, Dr. June Steiner proves negligence of Dr. Diev. Galina Kordina has concrete evidence that psychotronic weapons exist and she experiences the symptoms of such weapons. Yet no one is looking into this evidence as a possibility for her symptoms and instead are diagnosing her as psychotic. It is distressing when a physician is unwilling to look at the authentic evidence available that might explain the symptoms and prevent labeling the patient with a serious mental condition. Joyce Myers offers her opinion in this regard. In my clinical opinion and according to my personal as well as researched knowledge in the arena of targeted citizens, the psychiatrist gave an incorrect diagnosis based on limited understanding of root causes of symptoms. It is easy to dismiss Ms. Cordina's symptoms as psychosis if one doesn't want to do the necessary legwork to ascertain what created her symptoms, particularly 
when she has forwarded information that can be easily researched and validated in order to provide a proper clinical diagnosis. Ms. Kurdina has been marginalized and dismissed because it feels easier and safer to label her rather than search for the unpopular and disturbing underlying truth. One more time, the issue before the court is whether Dr. Diev and Dr. Uh, Sugar and Dr. Grazza uh, fall below standards in disregarding psychotronic weapons as a possible cause of mental illness. If they dis disregard existence of psychotronic mind control weapons, they fall below the standards of care because there are thousands of articles in Medline Library, hundreds of patents, declassified documents about body and mind control. Furthermore, doctors are referred to this literature by my experts, but they do not want to find and read it. Furthermore, they do not want to research facts reported by me and my experts that I am a victim of specific electromagnetic attacks and have nanomaterials in my system, which are used as microchips to send signals to my body. That is why they do not want to admit existence of psychotronic de devices, label victims of psychotronic weapons with false psychiatric diagnosis and fall below the standards. Their desire to use only DSM-4 in their work and neglect all the other literature in medical libraries may be called a criminal practice, but not a standard of care. Uh, their factums, factums of Dr. Diev and Dr. Gratze, read that doctors uh, Spanier, Myers and Steiner, uh, my experts, are not properly qualified. It is not true. Dr. Spanier, duly qualified and licensed expert in the field of psychology and treatment of victims of psychotronic weapons. Joyce Myers, duly qualified and a licensed expert in the field of psychotherapy and treatment of victims of psychotronic weapons. And Dr. Steiner, duly qualified and licensed expert in the field of hypnotherapy and treatment of victims of psychotronic weapons are able to opine on the standards of care of a, uh, for a psychiatrist in Ontario. All of them have knowledge and expertise in that field of practice. Furthermore, they have knowledge and expertise in the field of assessment and treatment of victims of psychotronic weapons, as against Dr. Diev and Dr. Gratze. Standards of care of psychologists, psychotherapists, hypnotherapists and psychiatrists in the United States of America and Canada are the same. I cannot provide the court with an expert medical opinion from a psychiatrist in Ontario. I was referred to psychiatrists in Ontario in 2008 and 2009, but they refused to see me for some reasons. Maybe they didn't want to testify against each other, maybe there were some other reasons as well. Uh, such a requirement, an expert medical opinion from a psychiatrist in Ontario, makes it impossible for me to provide the court with any expert report. It was, there were excerpts from my factum prepared for, uh, for a motion against Dr. Diev on the 1st of December, but uh, factums uh, for motions uh, against Dr. Diev and Dr. Uh, Gratza are almost identical. Uh, motion against Dr. Gratza was heard by Justice Perel. Justice Perel uh, sent me his decision to dismiss my action on summary judgment. And this is, these are excerpts from his decision. It should be pointed out that the issue before the court is not about the existence of psychotronic weapons or about how other professionals...